Okay. Well, we did it. It's uh I have to tell you, these things are such a rush. Uh, you, you never know how you're going to get through it all, but somehow we make it every time. Uh, I do have to say, I don't think I'm exaggerating. I think this one was the best one yet. And the reason for that is because we learn something every time. We, we get more and more organized. This time, I, I just think it looked so much better than before. Uh, no small part, uh, thanks to Jen and her artwork all over the place. and. Uh, and, and just the many different things we had. Thank you, Jim. But we also had uh, AV covered like it's never been covered before, thanks to Chris and his team. And these guys really, they worked tirelessly around the clock to make sure that uh, things continued without any kind of interruption whatsoever. So we're forever indebted to them as well. There's so many more people to thank, but I'd just like to invite everybody up, not everybody, uh, these guys, uh, <laughs> to say a couple of words about uh, how their particular teams worked out and uh, challenges and, and some of the things that um, deserve special mention. Who'd like to go first? Workshop? Go ahead. Well, I'd like to thank first and foremost all the volunteers. All the volunteers, you guys really made this happen. <laughs> And uh, workshop, like how many volunteers do you think we estimate we had all together? Oh, Carrie, Carrie. Probably a hundred, over a hundred. I mean, it takes a lot of people like to pull that. something like this off. Carrie, get up here. Yes. Carrie, our volunteer coordinator, everyone. All right. This is the person who you talk to to get onto all the mailing lists. She shunted everybody over to a department of their choice. How many volunteers do we have? You think? I'm not sure. Probably about a hundred. About a hundred volunteers. Yeah. More than 100. Raise your hands. More, volunteers. more than a hundred. Raise your hands. Everybody who volunteered to help out here, raise your hands. Raise your hands. <laughs> Twenty people in security. Forty people in knock. You say? We had, uh, let's say, how many people in AV? Thirty. Twenty, thirty-five, something like that. We had a lot. <laughs> art people. We had lots of art people. We had some stage management crew. A lot of people. Let's, let's, let's just say 150. Thank you to all of you. Thank you again. A round Would of applause. Would not have been possible without you. If, if this were some kind of a commercial conference, you know, we could, have, we could afford to pay everybody to do this, and then we'd have to pay like $250 to attend. So we try to keep this affordable to everybody, like within reason, and still not lose our shirt on it. And we manage to lose a little bit each year. But um, we want to give a good time to everybody. And uh, without all those volunteers, it just simply would be impossible. Yeah, we still think it's the best uh, deal in town for 50 bucks for a weekend. I also, in, in addition to the uh, official volunteers, there are so many of you who helped out in other ways, just uh, by, by lending a hand whenever we needed something, and just by, by treating the hotel with respect and each other with respect and that kind of a thing, that made all the difference in the world. That's why we'll be able to come back here, because you took care of the place, and they, they were telling us before how great they were, how, how happy they were with the people that were here, how responsible everybody was. And uh, it's going to be great because in a few weeks they're going to have all these Republicans wandering around and I just want to be able to say we did a better job than they did. Thank you. I, I want to give a special thanks to Rhodey and the security crew because without them all kinds of things would have been in an uproar and I, I just think they handled it extremely professionally and they were friendly to everybody and it was just a great... Uh, a great team to have on our side. Rody. Basically, all hell would have broken loose without them. How many people had a good time? No, 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 no. How many people had a good time? Now, that's more like it. We had a few problems. Somebody who 
remains unmentioned or a bunch of somebodies. You know, few, you know, decided to get a little crazy with a China marker in some of the elevators. And <laughs> then this fool decided that Pentium stickers needed to be all over the uh, band. This, is, by the way, this is not hacking, okay? Just so in case anybody has any questions, this is stupidity in action. Anyway, other than that, nothing really got stolen here. I would really applaud everybody for basically keeping this one under control. Damage amounts were probably way under the last couple of cons. Then again, we did broker a deal with some of the people who ran off with the letters last year and really embarrassed me, but we won't talk about that. Which were handmade by Rody, we might add, last time and this time. Yeah, by the way, we may give away those letters. You know anybody who needs uh, two 45 put, you know, 45 pound uh, four foot letters, say five, H and eight. five? <laughs> wow, I can see one, two, you must be recyclers. <laughs> anyway. No, no, because they weren't union manufactured. Okay, we are in a union building here. Anyway. I'd like to thank everybody on the security team. We had a lot of people show up that weren't on the list, showed up the last minute just when I needed them. They came out, they kicked ass. Everybody that you see around here that's got an orange shirt on, and a few of them that don't have orange shirts on, you guys, you guys deserve a big round of applause. And as, you know, as it was said before, we did it. <laughs> Don't everybody cheer, cheer. <laughs> applaud, applaud. And by the way, I want to thank the person who came to us and said, I just can't be quiet about this kind of crap and happened to be taking a picture at the time. And that's the beauty of having all these eyes out there, friendly eyes that are out watching out for us and for the hotel and for all kinds of shenanigans that could have wound up hurting us if, uh, if we let them go too far. So again, thanks to all of you for, uh, for helping out and making it possible for us to come back. Uh, I just want to give special thanks. Uh, there's a lot of work that goes into this whole thing. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes weeks. It takes months. Somebody has to make all the arrangements to, uh, to get the artwork together, to, uh, uh, to make the armbands, which, uh, by the way, we were told were impossible to make. Well, we did it. Uh, just to have the banners and everything ready, I want to thank Mike, who uh, spent weeks and weeks putting it all together. Thank you. This guy worked around the clock for, for many, many weeks. Hi. Um, I'm tired now, but uh, this was a great convention. I want to thank also the folks who uh, volunteered at the info desk. I got here on Friday at what I thought was an unreasonably early hour and found that there were already two folks who had set up the info desk and started dispensing information. Just amazing, amazing things like that have been going on all weekend long. And I want to thank everyone who volunteered uh, with the projects I worked on and with everything else. And how about these banners, huh? <laughs> they sure got a reaction on 7th Avenue by walking by, looking at those things. What the hell? Well, you know, it's not Hitler, okay? We all know that. Some people might think because of the mustache. But uh, uh, is Frederick here? Here's the guy who, come on up. This is the guy from Canada who uh, designed this. And the way this came about, one, one day at Off the Hook, we were just opening up the mail, and there was this big tube waiting for us, and we said, uh-oh. <laughs> we opened the thing up, and inside were these posters, uh, little, little versions of this. And we're like, wow, this is great. And we contact him and say, can you, make, uh, can you give us the artwork for this so we can make banners and come on down and you know, share your artwork with people. Um, he's making a cartoon, 1984 comics. Tell us about it. Right, I'm making an adaptation of George Orwell's 1984 in comic book format. And uh, I invite you all to check the website, 1984comic.com. Are we in the Times? 
What happened? This is 1984. 1984. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's the website. I thought we were in the papers. I don't know. <laughs> Have to be careful. Um, and of course, Chris, come on up. Chris uh, was in charge of um, audiovisual. And uh, we had all kinds of, of, of crises over the months, but at the last minute, we were able to, uh, to put things together for under budget uh, and keep it running with a bunch of dedicated staff who, uh, who just worked their asses off. Chris. I'd, I'd really like to thank the volunteers. Uh, they made the big difference between last time and this time. Uh, we had about a dozen people who signed up for some small shifts, you know, three, four hours. Uh, about half of them showed up, and I'd, I'd like to really thank those few who did. Um, and, but m really the, the, the most amazing part of this for me were the people who jumped in and filled in when that didn't happen, and who altogether worked, you know, 40 hours over the weekend. These people would work for eight-hour shifts straight, and maybe get a chance to run to the bathroom between shows if they were lucky. Um, and so I'd like to thank those people. Um, Racks on the cameras back there. Hobbit, who did all the lighting. <laughs> and uh, the people who set up basically everything you see on this floor and ran most of it for the conference uh, are a whole crew out of Pittsburgh run by Adam Pennington, who I'd like to come up. And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'd just like to thank my crew who came out from Pittsburgh. It, uh, it's a group from Carnegie Mellon called AB Tech. And I'd like to thank Lindsay, Carla, Jess, Clara, The Chaos, Chris, Matt, Other, and Meg. And I've gotten a ton of questions on what the heck this techno is that I've been playing between the sessions. It's uh, two CDs a friend of mine mixed up. I will have the track list online probably tomorrow. If you want to find out where that'll be, you can email me at deathb at gmail.com. Thank you. Yeah. We had an on-site uh, emergency med medical technician here the entire conference who uh, was here in case anybody here ha was in danger or whatever. Uh, Mike Schneider had to leave a little while ago, but he was here on hand the entire time, 24-7 uh, with a ra two-way radio by his ear, uh, just for all of you in case you were in trouble. So I want to give a hand to Mike Schneider, who also helped out with the radios. Yeah, they, they basically had those radios all over the hotel, and if there was ever even a hint of trouble, they were able to deal with it immediately. Hotel security never even got involved in any problems, and they love us. So um, big hand to those guys for making that possible. Thank you, guys. Also... Uh, in addition to the regular AV, uh, I believe Ethan and Chris were responsible for, uh, for a whole lot of uh, extra stuff down on the second floor, telling you what movie was playing and video, uh, uh, actually having uh, Steve Wozniak uh, downstairs as well as upstairs, little things like that which really make things a lot more comfortable for people. So I'm not sure, are they here? Okay, well they're around somewhere, so wherever they are, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, how many... Uh how many people took advantage of our movie room? Was that a good idea? Um, yeah? Well, Red Hack was in charge of all that. He kept it running around the clock, and that was one of the, uh, one of the things going 24-3. Red Hack, how many films did we have all together, roughly, would you say? Um, I would estimate we probably had over 25 films. I mean, we had a ton of material. I'd really like to thank um, Evan and Derek and Jared for helping with it. They, you know... Um, we were able to get shifts going and so that we <laughs> wouldn't all be exhausted by the end of the weekend. So they were, and, they were an integral part of getting it And uh, they also manage feeds from, uh, from upstairs here for, uh, for some of the keynote speeches for uh, uh, Steve Wozniak and for the social engineering panel. Well, this room is so full, we couldn't fit everybody. We'd put them, we had overflow crowds in the movie room, too, watching the feed. And uh, that was amazing. That, that was pulled off. And I know they were just up here before, but I think we really should uh, pay special attention to the people who kept the network running through adverse uh, circumstances with the rising. Top guys. Ready? Adam? Just a couple of words on uh, what the challenges were and how we overcame them. 
think we just went over this like uh, 20 minutes ago, but uh, <laughs> but really, I think um, some of the uh, important notes is that um, you know planning is important. Uh, if we didn't plan, we would have had this. We would have repeated our past mistakes. Um, you know, we uh, we planned ahead, uh, looked at the problems, made sure that we solved them, introduced new problems, so we have some challenges for next time that we'll make sure we fix. But I think with if hopefully we have the same team that we had this year, next year will be even better. So I just wanted to thank. Uh, uh, drag on for getting our rock solid, in my opinion, wireless network going up and running. Um, so, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Uh, I especially want to thank uh, everybody at the Triple H, uh, Seth and Miles, uh, Amber and uh, Jen, and you know all the people who helped us uh, uh, far, especially uh, you know uh, everybody who helped us um, you know get the pre you know uh, we used their space to pre-stage on this uh, Verity uh, sort of uh, scary loft uh, <laughs> that was that was constructed above Miles' bed, and uh, um, you know that that was a little scary, but uh, it, it worked, and um, you know we got everything up, you know. Uh, very easily to set up when we got to the conference. Um, also, I'm glad we uh, did a real good proof of concept of why we do the networks the way we do, you know, why the 2 to 18 link was important because if without that 2 to 18 fiber link, we would not have had the o movies going to the overflow room. Uh, we wouldn't have had wireless up here. Uh, it would have just made things more complicated. So the little extra effort in, uh, you know, uh, running fiber you know, between the two floors is very important. Uh, unfortunately, Adam isn't here, but Adam Rothschild um, was responsible for getting the 2 to 18 connectivity, um, you know, he was his fiber, his switches, he configured everything and then ditched because he had to uh, work the rest of the weekend, so he'll be here in a couple hours to reclaim his stuff. And uh, we definitely need to thank uh, knack.net for uh, graciously giving us the uh, T1s again. I just wanted to make a quick, uh, get, 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 get. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Uh, as Bernie said before, uh, Bernie and Emmanuel said before, uh, we run this conference, uh, you know, uh, very, uh, we try to keep costs down. Um, you know, we, like you said, we have the uh, best show in town for 50 bucks. Uh, part of that is uh, due to uh, the enormous generosity of companies like NAC.net and all the individual, uh, you know, um, uh, equipment donators. Uh, the, the network infrastructure never costs the conference. Um, I, I don't believe it has ever cost the conference. Uh, all the switches are donated, the manpower is donated, uh, the um, you know the the cabling is donated. Um, which one thing? If anybody can help us uh, pull down some of the cabling, you're free to take it uh, home, except for the fiber. Uh, <laughs> so. So yeah, um, you know we, we we try to you know. Um, you, save the money in the network and then we can spend it on the things that are important like uh, the AV, you know, I mean, this, this, the AV stuff is very important to this conference and, you know, uh, that costs us a lot of money. So uh, it's very good that everybody can uh, help out and be generous, uh, you know, in, in getting us this equipment. So uh, again, thanks to um, most, like 99% of the uh, people who are uh, using the network and I'm not too happy with that 1% that abuses the network, but you know, hey, that's what this uh, network is all about. It's always gonna be abused, but I'm just glad that, you know, we did have a network that was, uh, I think the network stood up to the abuse personally so and I'm you know I'm thankful for the work that this team did so give the team another round of applause um, I've already said a whole lot about the Knox staff I just want to say one more thing um, Adam has done so much work for the Knox, getting everything up and running and together and making sure that everybody has net access here so I, I just wanted to say, can we get another round of applause for Adam? Because he's done so much. Another thing we had this year that I think was uh, much better than years past was our selection of vendors uh, in the back over there. And uh, we owe that to Porkchop for organizing uh, the vendors, getting some really good people in here and keeping them happy, keeping you guys happy. On that point, on that point, I'd like to thank all the vendors for giving us some stuff to give to you guys in a couple of minutes. They've been pretty generous this year. And there are a couple other people who've been running tirelessly around, uh, organizing speakers, making sure everybody gets to the podium on time, making sure they get off on time. Uh, and then of course, Greg Newby and Laszlo. Thank you very much.
It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks to the speakers, especially everyone was on time, prepared, brought their stuff, and uh, responded well when it was time to go, except for one panel that just went Sorry. a little over time. But everything else was great. And uh, blame India, they put me on hold for half an hour. I think this conference was a great vibe. Um, a lot of us were running circles uh, around and going crazy, and sometimes it was kind of hard to tell, but people would stop us on the elevators and say, you know, I, this is, I think, the best conference uh, that, I've, that I've been to, the best hacker conference. And that vibe is due to everybody in this room. A lot of you, uh, the stories I've heard about people traveling to this thing are d unbelievable. It's like a Grateful Dead show for geeks, but... Um, <laughs> Um, you know, complete with people sleeping under tables in the back. Um, but uh, that vibe is because this is a community, and the way this community grows is by telling your friends, sharing 2600 with people who might not know what hacking is uh, and might be afraid of that word. Um, share the knowledge, bring more people into this community so that we can stay strong and defeat silliness, like some of the laws that are coming down the pipe. Thanks for coming, everyone. Um, something else I think needs to be noted, uh, the speakers themselves. We had something like 70 different uh, panels uh, and I think 100 speakers. And I think they, uh, they all were here and they all showed up and they all gave really well-received talks. And that's, uh, that's no small thing. That means a lot, that they came from all over the world to present to you guys and uh, that you guys listened to what they had to say. Thanks to them. Thank you. And I'm sure there are people we're forgetting and things we're forgetting, but one thing I don't want to forget is um, this place, because I really love this place. It's, uh, it's not the Ritz-Carlton, but it's, it's kind of like our home. It's in, a, it's in a terrific location. It's so cool just to be able to hang out on 7th Avenue at 4 o'clock in the morning watching the traffic go by. You know, the, the guy in the corner who sells hot dogs, he remembered us from two years ago. How cool is that, you know? Before you leave tonight, buy a hot dog from that guy. He's amazing. He was, he was watching the van for us and... <laughs> uh, that's the kind of vibe this place gives off, you know, and, and, and that we give off as well, uh, that people in New York City remember who we are and uh, are part of the whole process. And that's why I hope to be here again another couple of years doing the same thing. Yes, um, we're, going to, we're going to be giving away some stuff, but first we want to issue a plea. Should I be the one issuing the plea, or maybe Chris uh, is better doing this? Let us do it. You want to do it? Okay. Yeah, we know the details. Okay. Actually, we have a demo. We have shirts. Wait, uh, oh, yeah, we have rewards. We have rewards, we have a demo, um, and uh, where's, where's Hobbit? Let's get Hobbit. Hey, come on up here, because you, you'll uh, do the demo in a moment. Um, so uh, believe it or not, uh, it was a fair amount of work to set up some of the equipment and stuff. And we could actually use some help in packing up. We need to be packed by about 10 PM tonight, which will be a, uh, an amazing feat if we can pull it off. As, uh, as Adam said, if you, um, if you can tell the difference between network cable and, say, power cable, <laughs> You can help to dismantle the network. Uh, you do not need to help with the wireless access points. Thank you very much. The, uh, but net <laughs> network, network cable you can coil up and take with you. All the posters, I think essentially all the posters, or literally all the posters that you see are, uh, are yours to take. If you take it down, and please do take down the tape on the wall behind it. Um, yeah, be, be careful taking down, down the, uh, the tape and stuff. Don't uh, take paint from the hotel with you. Um, so, so that can really help. As you walk out through the second floor, uh, we have about 350 chairs, 60 tables that all need to be folded, brought to the back where the big crossed yellow stuff is of that uh, second floor. Oh, has it? You people are amazing. Uh, the chairs are not souvenirs, uh, just the, um, <laughs> right. And uh, so uh, the um, other activity is uh, doing some, some uh, help. And we don't need everyone for this. Thanks for offering. But uh, probably about 10 or 20 people could really help with taking down some of the audiovisual 
stuff. Again, don't, uh, if you really can't tell power cable for something else, don't just unscrew random things. But uh, to stick around and help with uh, packing up all these incredible lights and video and so forth, it's uh, all heavy and it all has to be down by the loading dock uh, way back yonder within just a couple hours. So if you can help out with all that, uh, that would be fantastic. Uh, if you see a little garbage, of course, you can throw that out and so forth. Uh, the other thing that you can do if uh, you're not going to help is, uh, or and thanks for showing up, but if you're not going to help, then uh, uh, you can uh, help by clearing the space where other people will be uh, cleaning up. One of the things that we'll do to encourage you is we'll shut off the network um, almost immediately after the <laughs> conference. Uh, so, so don't be surprised uh, by that. And uh, uh, if, you're, if you're sitting in the audience with your laptop, these are the last few bites that you're going to get. Uh, for people that might want to help with audio visual, we do have a, uh, a demonstration arranged, which you can take. It's, this is uh, skills, hacker skills, which you should be taking home with you um, on coiling gear. We have a web page. Oh, go. <laughs> Just quick. I mean, it, a AV is not just the geeky kid in the back of the grade school classroom running the slide projector. There's actually a lot to, lot to it, a lot goes into it. And lots of little subtleties that creep up when you're, when you're wrangling all this gear. So um, one, one of the things that, that people learn when, we're, when they're working with this stuff is the proper technique for rolling cables. So if you see somebody doing this arm thing, stop them. That's the wrong way to do it. Because, because one, th one thing you wind up with is a net twist down the cable and it gets all messed up next time you try to unroll it. So um, there's a uh, page at technofandom.org slash twiddlehobbit. There's a whole bunch of like random um, AV lighting, et cetera, info under there and pointers to other places that I've just been collecting over time. So the part, right way to roll a cable, and this is a nice um, big stiff uh, stage pin lighting cable that carries 20 amps. Just roll it up like you'd normally coil one, one loop in. The next loop, you want to do this kind of subtle move where it coils under itself and just alternate all the way down. So most of you won't, won't, won't get this, won't want to do it, but um, just try to avoid the arm thing and try to do this under over flip. And that way, the shop, when they get all these cables back, will really thank you for that because that's the way they roll them. Thanks. And you just learned something valuable for your own, your own purposes, too. Speaking of valuable lessons, um, I didn't mention this, but uh, if you happen to have just accidentally acquired something here that you don't think you should have taken, radios, posters, whatever, and you want to get rid of them without having any other problems on your conscience, the security team would love to see those downstairs on the second floor. We won't, huh? Telephone. telephone. A room telephone. The party room telephone? Oh, okay. If you know where the telephone is from the party room, please return it also. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. That was, that, that was definitely a party. Never seen beds used for trampolines before quite like that. <laughs> Uh, we have one instance of a camera that was taken from on top of a vending machine. If you have the camera, you know what? Keep the camera, return the memory card, because that's got all the pictures on it. Just leave it at the info desk. No questions asked, but uh, you'll feel better if you return the camera, too. Security, security sorry, security, next to the info desk. Um, second floor. Second floor. We have uh, shirts, a whole lot of uh, volunteer shirts for those of you who actually stick around and finish cleaning up tonight. Uh, we'll be giving those out to everybody who was here for that. Reason being that last time I don't think we had enough people and we wound up getting charged something like 1500 bucks for the uh, pros to come in and do it. So we have enough people here. It doesn't take that long. And as Hobbit demonstrated, uh, you pick up valuable new skills. We have one last big person to thank for all of this. I think you know who I'm talking about, the big man himself. <laughs> Emmanuel Goldstein and all of 2600. Thank you. Standing ovation! Come on! Get up! Yeah! One more 
Just one more time? <laughs> Gee. We want to keep doing this. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but thanks to all of you for, uh, you know, making it worthwhile. It really is. It feels great. And, um, yeah, we're wiped out, but uh, it's a good kind of feeling. And now we have the whole rest of the summer to enjoy. So, thanks. Thank you very much. We have things to give away, Bernie? You want to uh, organize this? And uh, no mayhem this time. We're going to, uh, this is going to be nice and organized. How many of you have been wondering about these things? Well, the hotel was wondering about these things. That little comment up on top about cyber, cyber terrorism, that, oh, yeah. cyber that led to some concern. Cyber terrorist suspect, uh, one five, what is this one? They, they came up to me and they said, this, this isn't something we have to be concerned about, is it? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry about it. The other thing, of course, was one of Jen's posters downstairs that had the upside down flag. Apparently, pedestrians were walking by and they noticed this and they started complaining and, and uh, yeah, well, they, they, they made us take it down, but they didn't agree with it themselves. But, you know, you don't want to have pedestrians complaining too much. But the thing is, they kept complaining even after it was taken down. So it was really kind of bizarre. But, uh, yeah, the, tell us about the, the punch cards, Bernie. Oh, these are uh, what are technically known as a Form 5081, typically used back in the uh, late 60s, early 70s. Uh, you receive your, those of us who are old enough to remember receiving, uh, uh, like, electric utility bills, gas water bills, and these things in an envelope marked do not fold, spindle, or mutilate. Well, you're welcome to fold, spindle, and mutilate these to your heart's content, by the way. And uh, they're all, uh, you know, Accurately encoded, all the characters along the top, the top of the uh, cards are uh, correspond to the column punches. If you look, they're actually encoded in ASCII, and uh, the last four digits are unique. Yeah, they are ASCII. They're Epsidic. not. ASCII. They're not EBCDIC. Oh. They are ASCII encoded. So anyone have a card reader handy so we yeah. can figure this out? Uh, we, would have, we wanted to bring the card reader here to like do some demonstration sorting them and so forth, but uh, it weighs uh, more than all of us up here combined. <laughs> so, and we originally wanted to make them bright red, um, but again, corresponding with the, the artistic theme of the conference, but uh, for some reason the U.S. Navy had ordered a huge quantity of red IBM punch cards uh, very uh, recently. And we all in the whole core organized group, group were wondering, what was the U.S. Navy doing ordering huge quantities of red IBM punch cards? It's uh, sort of ominous. But uh, we had to settle for yellow, which corresponds well with our current state of homeland security alert. So, <laughs> but we had a scare on the first day. What was that, uh, Thursday? Uh, there was a homeland security alert, and there was, there was talk of going to orange. And we're like, oh, no, we don't have any orange cards now. What are we going to do? So they were already, they were already encoded and punched. But each card has its own unique serial number, the last four digits. Everyone has their own unique cyber terrorist suspect number. And uh, we thought that would be the best and fairest way to award uh, some of the uh, modest door prizes we have here tonight. So, but Bernard, I just want to say we'd be remiss not to uh, give thanks to another uh, organization that has helped bring us to this level of paranoia. Department of Homeland Security, thank you so much for making this possible. Because fear and paranoia generate some of the best art around, and uh, I, hope to, I hope to see many more such uh, examples of that. These things make very good bookmarks, by the way. <laughs> Um, just a couple other pieces of trivia about these cards. Uh, again, they're Form 5081, uh, typically used in the early mid-70s. Um, they were encoded with a uh, type IBM 029 data recorder, which allows, uh, ah, somebody remembers that. Um, which which uh, the key punch machine allows interspersed gang punching. I don't know, usually gangs do the punching, don't they? But. Uh, where the master or original card uh, with either an upper left-hand corner cut or an upper right-hand corner cut, uh, which was selected by a switch on the 029, are interfiled with blank copy cards. And the information from the master cards is uh, automatically reproduced, punched, and printed. Uh, however, many copy cards follow the, uh, for the, follow the master cards. But uh, I could give you more, more um, trivia about this, but it's probably really boring to most people. But anyhow, it's a great piece of technological uh, souvenir to take back. And, and use as a bookmark or whatever. I just have a quick comment. Did anyone notice any hanging chads on these cards? 
who took great pains to avoid any controversy, and we removed every chad that was hanging. So a lot of states uh, and municipalities still use these as uh, uh, similar punch cards for voting, and frankly, we think that's more reliable than some of these uh, electronic voting schemes because you have a paper trail, and you can discern the intent of the voter more accurately than just looking at some file and you don't know what they intended. So anyway, well, with no further ado, we want to come up with some scheme to awarding some, some of these door prizes here based on the last four digits of their punch cards. So um, anybody got a pair of you, dice? You did all them? save your cards, didn't you? Because you knew they'd be used. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's Everyone see your cards. Raise, this is raise your cards up in the air. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, that's a great picture. All right. Do you have a pair of dice? Yeah. Well, unless they're like 10 digit dice, it would be kind of hard to, <laughs> decimal, decimal numbered dice. She has 10 sided dice. She just happens to carry them around with her. All right. If she follows the advice of ready.gov, she's prepared. Geeks of the world. You have four ways, by any chance? Well, we can just go by three. That should be good enough. They're 20 sided dice. Is that all? We can, we, with, yeah, we can use, we can, that doesn't matter. We can still use the, okay. We can use, we, we can use. Oh my God. Right, we have a 10 sided dice. Why, why do people carry these? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to get complicated. <laughs> okay, we're bickering over how to do this. We'll be with you in a second. Okay, roll the dice. What do we got? What's what's on top here? Well, it's going to take a long time. So we're going to go with the purple one first, and then the last one. So well, whose card ends in 102? Anybody? Or is this going to be too complicated? 102? We have a 102? A winner? All right, we got a winner. Wait, All right. Where on? Where the last no. three digits oh, are yeah. 102. In an orderly fashion. Yeah, that's what I mean. The last three digits should be ending in 102. Is that what you got? The last three digits, 102. Yeah, yeah that's what he's got. That's amazing. Right. It worked. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. This What's is that? silly. No, you're right. This is wrong. How is it wrong? Because it's one, 102, and then we need a last digit. Yeah, but then... How yeah, we we're, know we we're one wrong, person. go away. Yeah, we know we're wrong. We'll think we know, about it We know that there could be four Stop digits, yelling. but <laughs> the chances of us getting two All right, people... recount, recount. How many people came up with it? one end in one or two? Only one person, so obviously no, they're going. that's wrong. That's wrong, Bernie. Um, yeah, it's just wrong. Yeah, I can just pick numbers out of my we head. We need a better scheme number. here. Let's just go with the last two digits. Who's got... Okay, Who's got uh, 1023 then? 1023. We got two 1023? 1023? Only one of you could be 1023. Is it you? 1023? Come on up. No. No. No one has 1023. It's just people changing their numbers. <laughs> We've All got right, it. We have somebody. This is going to take too long. All right. Pick a book of your choice here. All right. Or, or a shirt. No, you got to pick it now. Well, are these real prizes? Real prizes? Okay. You have to show them the card for verification. You got it. You can have it. I'm not running All right. this, man. Yeah. Let the math people run this. We got to speed this up yeah, somehow. We're getting to do this. Uh, How about the last two digits and they all come up and grab something? That's what I just said. Yeah. We're just going to go to the last two digits and everybody comes up and grabs something. Don't give away Greg's laptop either. Uh, 31. 31. If you end in 31, you win a book. Oh, yeah. Turn that light down. How do we switch to the uh, uh, shorts? Uh, right switch to you guys got to check the cards. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Grab a book. Is that verified? Switch. Yeah. Verified? Oh, switch back. Like, okay. 31. Grab switch a book. Back for a sec sure. Hey, don't everybody see your mistakes? Okay, the system is working, believe it or not. 
Super. Can I see your card? Okay, look. We can generate random numbers like this. Just take... You this is awfully silly. What's the random number? Can I see okay. the card? Okay. Your card? Matt, put your card. 31. Yeah. It's got a 31. Okay, ready for another roll? What? No. Didn't you just... You just got you. one already. Yeah. 31. You got a book. But it's the best system there is. We wanted to log the punch card reader down here to have him sort these, but it was just too heavy. This is all going, right? Yep. I'll just lock it down. Cool. Okay, we have to be out of here by midnight, so uh, I just want to. Just the last two digits. Writing a program to do this right now. <laughs> Fix! <laughs> Obviously, we didn't plan this part very well. Too busy with other things. We're busy frantically coding. Does anyone else have 31? You'd be up here by now if you did, I guess. While we're drawing these, I want to thank uh, specifically some of our vendors, including No Starch Press and Singress Publishing, who uh, gave us a lot of books to give away, and uh, a defunct company called uh, Spaminator.com, uh, or Mailinator.com, who gave us a bunch of shirts. They're cool shirts. Just flip, flip a booger at spam. Um, can I, can I make a contribution here? Um, I don't have dice, I don't have a program, but I do like the number 26. Does anyone have a card ending in 26? Come on up. Yeah. See how easy that was? Low tech, but it works. There you go. 26 it is. Take your card back. Yeah, keep your card. And this is how elections can be decided, too. 26. Just let me come up with a number. 26, all right. What? What's the range? 2000? 2000? Excellent. 0026. He was here early. This guy is 0026. Um, 0026. And I'd like to get a picture of everybody waving their cards. All right. Uh, 26? 26? Okay, so if everybody can just wave their cards and keep them up till we. Okay, I'm going to clear this. Which book? Very nice. Okay, we have a program all ready to go, so uh, we, we, Mike, go ahead. We have uh, the world's most hackish program. 26, cool. You got a 26? It's done. It's done. It's Change the screen. Um, it's the worst way possible. Score. That's <laughs> so good. these people get the banners because it's so hacky. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, no. You can't have the big one. Yeah, but, but, but special. This is 25. 11.25. Okay. Uh, we can switch to the screen, and you can all mock our coding cool. skills, three different languages, it. four different pipes, whatever. <laughs> one book? But still, it. on short notice, it's, it's, it's okay. What license is it? Any bugs? What, what's the what license, license on this? What license? Uh, GPL. <laughs> okay, uh, so the, the, the number that comes up is going to win one of these lovely uh, Big Brother banners. So... The number is two, the second person. <laughs> <laughs> Who got here early? Probably someone on the course draft that's not eligible to win. It happened to pick two. All right, we're going to try again because no one has card two. Card, who has card 150? Oh wow! You don't. You can't win. <laughs> We'd give you one. He got it. <laughs> Goes back to Amsterdam now. Adam doesn't like my coding. Um, He's gonna write it better. I was just told to go to oh, no, no, go ahead. All right. Uh, you don't want to do it. His probably would have been better. What's the maximum we can win? Don't avoid the prize. We got a special. Special. Well. All right. I don't know if anybody uh, wants to admit to wanting this, but we had a donation from someone uh, at a w local uh, Windows users group. For uh, Windows Server 2003, 25, 25 client access licenses. It's I got a retail value of like three thousand dollars. So uh, I imagine there's a, at least a couple people here who might want that. And uh, now, now that's one of the rules. We cannot, we cannot do it on eBay. We cannot, you cannot resell it. You cannot sell it on eBay. It's for not for resale copy. Okay. But uh, you know, if you're running a Microsoft shop. I, my sympathies, no, but, you know, save yourself three or four grand. Um, 
Okay. All right. We won't have six people, so we'll probably need a few more. But I'm going to get this time. Yeah. All right. What's the number? What am I doing? This is. We're going to give this away. We're going to give this away. But only if you really need this. Yeah. All right, we're going to generate six numbers for some reason. Ah, we don't have all this. Try KSH. This is worse than the 2000 election. <laughs> That's questionable. No seat? No seat. Who wrote this OSX? It sucks. <laughs> Exit the shell and just hit up arrow six times. Yes. Do you want that done real quick? We really should have written this in Fortran right. to go with a punch card. <laughs> so, two, three, six. If you have zero, two, three, six, or if you have one, nine, six, zero, or if you have one, two, three, six, or if you have one, one, nine, eight, or one, one, two, two, or 970 and you want Windows Server, you've got it. Anybody? <laughs> one, we got one person up we there? Six. Oh. All right. I think we have a winner. We've got a winner. Do How do we adjudicate now, now if two people want it? Please do not molest them as they leave. Run on down. Allow them to exit unharmed. <laughs> What's your idea? <laughs> of, 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 avoid the flying eggs, please. Right, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, what's your number? Yeah. Oh, 236? No. Okay. You want that? Alright, we, 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 we have... Yourself. You want a book instead? There's some good books up here. Okay, the man's making a choice. He's going to pick a book instead. Well, you can have I feel like Monty Hall here. What's the three books or the or the software? Do you have a, a piece like, of grass in your pocket? It'll give you ten dollars for it. What dangers lurk behind the door here? You know. <laughs> <laughs> behind the banner, we have a Come fabulous on. prize. Jeopardy theme song here. Sell you get Windows. Go. go. You're not allowed to sell. Go. We don't have time. This is what happens when you don't make decisions. You get stuck with Microsoft Windows. <laughs> okay, we have one other uh, Big Brother banner that we're going to give away, and and the uh, one other Big Brother flag that we're going to give away, and uh, only one of you gets it, and you all want it. So the first person of these numbers. Uh, who has 1476? Anyone? No. Who has 318? Anybody? How about 1627? 1882? 954 or 97? No. We've got someone. Come up. You win a band. Stand up. Do we have someone or not? Going once. No, Going twice. Okay. Where is everyone? Twelve thirty-eight. Lottery Live brought to you by the Fifth Hope Conference. Ten thirty-three. Eighteen thirty-four. Eighteen thirty-four. For the first person to be awake and paying attention. And the guy who took the windows, I have a sheet of paper that they're going to need with that as well. <laughs> so you might want to come back up here. Something about a license? What's that? Raise your hand if the number on your card is prime. I don't know. This is a math. 
exam. I don't, I don't know what you get for it, but. All right, uh, we got more numbers. Is anyone on this list who didn't uh, didn't receive a prize yet? All right, we got. Uh, I'm gonna shout out numbers, so please be quiet and come get your prizes if if you if you win. Uh, Ten twenty six, six thirty two, four forty six, nine ninety three, thirteen sixteen, six fifty six, nine eleven, two ninety two. What you got? Ten twenty eight. That's right. All right, grab a book. Come on, we're, we're doing more than once at a time. 446? No. The, the numbers are four digits. So three digit numbers, you know, we, we can add, hack the code. Yeah, there's only three digits. All right. We have a lot of books from O'Reilly and Associates, too. Linux Pocket Guide, Online Investing Hacks, Spidering Hacks. Four forty six, we have a winner. We have released version two of the random number code. It shows all four digits. Cool. Let's, let's try to wrap this up. Um fifteen fifty seven, fifteen seventeen, thirteen fifty nine, seventeen twenty two, zero two zero four. One nine seven two. How do you have so many cards over there? One one five five one three four zero zero three eight five zero one nine three one eight one three one nine three six. Did you give a winning number? One five seven four zero seven zero eight. Zero four seven nine zero four one six zero six nine five one zero two three. Well, you can win more than once. You can win more than once. It's random, right? They wouldn't be random if they never repeated. Uh, you know, uh, we we opened the program to peer review. No one had any <laughs> complaints. There, there, there's actually a subtle bug. Uh, if anyone, if anyone wants to point it out, uh, they win a book. The first person to point out the subtle bug. Whoever had 11:55, you forgot your card. You can, by the way, you can keep your card. We just need to see it. Does anybody have 1984? Yes, you do. We saved that one for you, man. Oh, well, give me my book. <laughs> It's actually a pretty good book. It's called The Spam Letters. It's oh, from, nice. Thank uh, you. Thank no you Starch much. Press. It's like all that amazing spam, and, and somebody took the time to write really long and annoying responses to all these spam messages, and it's, uh, it's very entertaining. We have several copies Who, of that. Who's found the, the subtle bug? Someone must have, if I can, if I can point it out. There's a bag. Someone over there that has the Yep. All right. Some people have found it. The bug is that... Uh, for uh, the, the random number is not perfectly divisible by 2,000. Or take a book. And there's some strange slight bias. That's cool. Grab one your size. Why is it showing in Finder? All right. Uh, 1,600, 1,538, 1,521, 0,813, 1,856, sorry, 1,562. Bingo. Zero two three eight zero seven seven six zero three one three zero five two eight zero eight five four one four zero three. I think we uh, should go a little faster, maybe with two digit numbers. They appear in your patty. Two digit sequence. I didn't see were you here all weekend? Three digit sequence at the end of the card. Oh, this is a two digit sequence. Grab a book. All right. If you. Uh, Nobody? All right, we have a special random number. If you, if you end in 6-9, you win. If, you, if your card ends in 6-9, you have won a prize. Then you have some, an impossible. Hack-proofing your network, second edition. 
56, come on folks, where's the 56? Do, do people like hoard the 6-9 cards so they get more of them? Uh, okay. All right. 56? Ending in 56, yes. 69, whoever left their card up here. No more numbers. Okay. 56, that's cool. Take. 56. You can have two magazines, or a book, or a shirt, or a hat, or a coat. Coming to the end here, I hold off. We've got a few more left here. Hold on a minute. We got, we got Solicitations for complete code rewrites for the future years are more than welcome. All right, 56. You can take um, a couple of magazines, or a book, or a shirt, or a hat. Keep your card with you. Take your card home. People want to take their cards with them. Cool, that's good. You can have it. Take it back. Take it back. And we're done. We're done. Barney says we're done. Are we done? Uh, a few more left. Uh, one more roll of numbers. 78. If you have 78 and you get up here before the prizes are gone, you too can be included. If uh, the number scrolls off the screen, you, you know. Sorry. Yeah, we did thank him. Who's got 78? Ending in 78. Great. Take t-shirts if you do. Pork chops uh, over there helping. 78. Is that it? Is that it or is there more? Bernie? Do we need more numbers? Let's let the crowd disperse at, at a minimum. All right, uh, so I think we're done. We've given away all or substantially all of our prizes. We wish we had one for everybody. And but if, if the, the people that own these dies could please come back yeah. and get your Dungeons yes. and Dragons weirdness. <laughs> Thank you very much for the dice. Yes, Thank uh, you for coming. We want an object and a solution. Remember, we do need volunteers up here if you want a t-shirt. Also, if you could please look around you, if you see some trash at your feet, please pick that up and take it out with you and throw it in the trash can, because we don't uh, have a lot of time, <laughs> and we need your help. Volunteers gather. volunteers gather here. And if you want to volunteer to help us break down and get a t-shirt, just come right up here to the podium and give the password, which is swordfish. It's her mm -hmm. and her mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, coordinator will be here in just a second. That's cool. Uh, yeah, just come around. Who's the, who's going to be the volunteer coordinator for us?
a chair, so and it, it has this really handy hook on it, so it doesn't fall off your belt buckle. So if you've lost your keys, it looks like there's a remote control to a pretty decent car, a Honda. I'll press the panic button. 